In this video, we're gonna show you a fully enclosed electric assist bicycle. This is a little bit different than what we usually feature, but we're really excited about this. I've always loved the idea of electric bicycles, and this one is actually pretty unique. It's kind of a cross between a small car, a bicycle, and an electric bicycle. The battery is trickle charged by a small solar panel on the roof, but it's also removed at night for charging. The nice thing about it is that it's much more comfortable than a bicycle because you're protected from the elements, but it's still small enough that you can ride it on bike paths and on roads. So we're going to go meet up with Cody from Velo Metro to find out more. Our ambition for Vimo is to operate in cities around the world. And we just think that there's this, you know, utopian vision of these cities around the world in the future where 60% of the people are all now active and there's way fewer cars on the road and everyone's in a bike and, and being very much more social and part of the city instead of just driving through it. We developed a, a fully enclosed electric assist bike that keeps people safe, gives them storage, allows them to get around the city efficiently, quickly, and inexpensively. And it's a very Vancouver-born inspiration. It rains here a lot. Putting a roof over you and a floor underneath you really protects you from the water. So we designed Vimo around battery swapping. Uh, we're really the only electric vehicle fleet that can be installed into a city overnight and doesn't need any infrastructure whatsoever. We don't need charging stations, we don't need bike racks with charge plugs in them or anything like that. We have a guy with a vehicle with fully charged batteries. He can tell when the battery gets low. We take that off the grid and send him out and does a two minute battery swap and then it's good for another 100 kilometer range. Uh, meanwhile, as the vehicles are just parked around the city, we also have an 80 watt solar panel on the top that's trickle charging that battery. We designed this around having enough room in the back for your large carry-on luggage or for a week's worth of groceries. There's tons of space back there. In the future, we'll probably add a child's seat to the back. It's got full suspension. It's got turn-by-turn -turn navigation using cycling lanes. It's fully internet connected and secure, so you reserve it and you sign it out using your smartphone app. And uh, by controlling the fleet, it allows us to really monitor the health of the vehicles and the, the state of charge of each battery. And, and we can be really proactive to fix issues before they happen. Because each vehicle is connected to the internet, you can actually decide how much effort and how much cycle cadence you, you want in each of your rides. So if you really like to spin your pedals really quickly and you want a lot of assist, if you set that in the settings, any vehicle that you rent will have that same setting for you. The maximum power assist you can have in Canada is 500 watts. That's the equivalent of, of two Olympic athletes uh, giving constant power output. And it, it gives you the superhuman feeling when you're going and you're like, oh, I'm already going 30 kilometers per hour and I, I didn't even realize it. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you had a really crappy day at the office, you can turn the assist down and actually get a bit of a workout too. By following the regulations for an e-bike of 500 watts and 32 kilometers per hour, uh, it allows us to access bike lanes and anywhere an e-bike can go. So roads, uh, non-highway roads. Cities are really eager to get uh, what's called modal shift. So getting people out of cars for transportation, especially if they're single passenger car trips, uh, into active transportation, so walking and cycling. I mean, modal shift has huge positive impact to a city. Uh, cleaner air because you have fewer cars on the road, less traffic congestion to those who choose to use automobiles, whether it's taxis or ride hailing or bus systems or whatever. Um, and generally, you'll have more uh, space on the road dedicated towards bike lanes, which increases the, the amount of people that can travel through a certain space because they're just smaller vehicles, so it's more efficient. Thanks for checking out the Vimo. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for anyone wondering, unfortunately, it's not for sale yet. It's actually a pilot project, uh, but keep checking out their website. Things might change in the future. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.